Hello everyone, my name is Ariel Pozwolski with Algol. I'm a pre-sales engineer here and today we're going to be talking about multicast zoning. Uh, this is a feature that applies to most Algol, the line of Algol IP endpoints. Uh, specifically, we're going to be focusing on the 8301 for the sake of the example. That's what we're going to be using for my screen sharing, but bear in mind, it does apply to most of our line of products, including IP speakers, IP visual alerters, etc. Okay, so let's dive right into the web interface. Uh, I have my AD301 up here, as, as you guys can see. I'm already logged in in the status page, so we'll head over to basic settings first, and then within basic settings, we're gonna go to the sub tab called multicast. And first thing you can see is multicast mode is set to none. That's the way it should be out of the box from factory. Um, for the example, since we're talking zoning and etc., we're gonna be uh, configuring this as a transmitter. So we'll go ahead and hit transmitter. As soon as you do that, you can see multiple options show up underneath it uh, that are applicable to transmitter mode. Um, most of the settings can generally be left untouched. We will focus mostly on zoning today. Um, first thing to keep in mind is by default, when we open this box here, you only have the option of nine different zones, although we support actually up to 50 zones. These additional 41 zones are hidden by default just to avoid overcomplicating the web interface, but bear in mind uh, by enabling the setting here called basic, basic and expanded zones, uh, we get all 50 underneath it, right? I'm gonna go back to the traditional nine zones, the basic ones, because again, it's just more commonly used that way, but additional zones could be configured. Um, once we get in here, um, there is a couple different ways of doing zoning and it really depends on what is the exact application also. But generally speaking, for paging, you can do zoning by extension, meaning I need five zones, it's one extension per zone, one-to-one -one mapping, uh, or it's possible to do what's called DTMF selectable zones, right? When I set it to single mode, um, that's when I'm doing zoning by extension. Uh, when I change the zone selection mode to DTMF selectable, I generally gonna ha I'm gonna have one extension. Every time I dial, I'm gonna be prompted to select a zone. Again, talking about paging here specifically, zoning is applicable to emergency alerting, to ringing, etc. But for the sake of the example, we'll talk paging. When we each sele uh, select a DTMF selectable zoning, uh, we have the option down here for DTMF settings. So DTMF is what allows uh, you to select the different zones as you're paging, right? So you dial an extension, let's say, then you push one for zone one, two for zone two, so on and so forth. Um, before you actually enter the, select the zone you want to page over to, uh, you're, you have the option of using a prompt tone, right? The prompt tone by default is just a double beep. Uh, as you can see down here, you do have the option of selecting a custom one. Again, a custom audio file can be uploaded as always mp3 away file and it may contain something that is unique to your requirements press one for office two for warehouse three for alcohol for instance i'm gonna leave it at default right now um, but that's basically it in terms of zoning once i have this set, uh, set to transmitter mode dtmf selectable zoning uh, and i select my zone selection tone at the bottom here it is mostly all set that concludes our overview on multicast zoning uh, we focused more on paging, but again, bear in mind, this applies to any setting within the line of Algo AP endpoints. Thank you for your time. For any questions or if you need support, please contact the Algo team.